Is Syria the next hot market? Wall Street players like Barton Biggs, Bill Miller, and Stephen Galbraith of Maverick Capital visited the country last year to answer exactly that question. Over the past 10 years, Syria's transitioned from a purely socialist system to what's being called a social market economy, opening up to trade and foreign investment that hasn't existed here in nearly five decades. And since U.S. sanctions don't cover most private investment, American financiers are largely free to browse. In Damascus, Biggs and Miller met one of the architects of reform, Deputy Prime Minister Abdullah Dardari. This is a very open government that is willing to listen and interact and behave according to the requests of different interest groups. It's our job to maneuver these interest groups to service the whole economy. The Damascus Securities Exchange opened last year with roughly a dozen banking and insurance stocks, and this year Syria's central bank allowed majority foreign ownership of private banks, an overture to lure global financial giants to the market. Ça a intéressé déjà We've already seen interest from several European banks, some of the major names we were looking to attract with this change, said Central Bank Governor Dr. Adib Mayali. Politics has kept major American companies away, but European firms are playing in consumer products, construction and manufacturing. Like this garment factory in Damascus, turning out clothing for Spain's Mango label and Italy's Stefanel. There are hotels built by Turkey's Dediman, the new Eighth Gate financial district being developed by Dubai's Emar, and plenty of growth in shopping malls. A boom for a public that's itching to spend, one that used to hand carry imported laptops and consumer electronics from neighboring Lebanon. You, you today have a consumer society in Syria, which was not the case only a few years ago. You can have brands and you, you can have a choice between brands. All this in a country still technically at war with Israel, with regional conflicts that flare up in a flash and close allies that worry the West. Which may be why the smart money is just starting to trickle in, but it's not likely to stay away for long. For Bloomberg News, Lara Satrakian in Damascus, Syria.